One of the challenges about Lyomire sarcoma is that it can sometimes be found as an, in, an incidental diagnosis. And so it's not uncommon for us to get women who've had a hysterectomy for presumed fibroids and then they have a diagnosis of sarcoma. Um, there are some tumor markers that may be slightly elevated in sarcoma, but preoperative predictors are not super reliable. And particularly when we get a lot of these uh, patients referred to us from benign gynecologists who've already done the hysterectomies, it, it becomes a challenge. Um, one of the biggest things that we kind of talk about is what's the role for ovarian preservation and whether or not we should go back in to take their ovaries out. There's actually not really good data to suggest that we need to um, do an oophorectomy as part of the completion treatment for the sarcoma. Um, and in fact, recent data has suggested that there may be a benefit to leaving the ovaries in. So at this point, doing completion hysterectomy is the mainstay of treatment. The pathological characterization of the disease hasn't really changed significantly in decades, but I think as we kind of evolve in the setting of diagnostic therapeutics, understanding kind of the genomic changes and alterations that occurred during the course of mutagenesis and carcinogenesis, um, identifying specific targets that we could then use for drug study in the future or as predictive biomarkers, I think will continue to be important.